Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm back on uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2 and American Truck Simulator actually and I thought we would have a look at my latest mods and perhaps just one or two settings that I have uh, just to help people along. So uh, let's crack on with it. <laughs> Yes, hi everybody, how's everybody doing? I hope you're all having a fantastic day and uh, yeah, back on Euro Truck and American Truck and uh, I did um, a settings and mod video around about a year ago now I think, uh, well, perhaps a little bit sooner than that but uh, I thought I'd do a latest one uh, because I've changed one or two of the mods, I've added some more mods and I just think it was a, a bit of a time to uh, to update everything. Now there are one or two kind of caveats to this I suppose, one is uh, as you may be well aware Euro, or not Euro, but SCS are planning on releasing version 1.50 which is going to change basically the core engine and uh, I uh, amongst others are not sure how this is going to affect uh, a lot of these mods um, obviously they will get updated uh, pretty quickly by a lot of the uh, mod developers but uh, some of them may get left behind and they may not work so um, take a lot of these with a little bit of a pinch of salt that they may not work after the 1.5 I may have to do another video after they release 1.5 but uh, for now I just thought I'd do one for 2024 seeing as we're now into that year and uh, show you what type of mods I'm actually using now they are Steam mods, I don't tend to use pro mods, it is something I'm looking at getting into a little bit more, quite like the idea of some of the maps on there, but uh, but I've, I've been primarily using uh, Steam mods, which are, if, if anybody doesn't know, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm trying to treat this as a, a little bit of uh, a kind of, from a beginner's perspective, so if, if you already know all about this, uh, and what the mods are, and how they work, and everything like that, it, probably is a few apart from seeing what uh, my particular load order is like but uh, but yeah I'm coming at it from a, a bit more of a beginner's perspective who perhaps doesn't really understand it so you can download your mods from Steam you go onto the workshop uh, for that particular game and uh, in fact I can show you that you see now that this uh, the Steam workshop here and you can just click on that button this is in the mod manager within the game and you can go on to the actual uh, workshop and ju then just in this bit here you can type something out and uh, like let's say you typed uh, environment or traffic or something like that and it would bring up mods re related to that particular subject so that's how you actually get into there <clears throat> and then you click subscribe on the mod and uh, it automatically puts it into this section for you so it is a lot easier than using the pro mods the, 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 there's probably a bit more selection uh, in the pro mods uh, but they are a little bit more awkward to install and uh, the other problem with them is that they um, can get left behind with uh, game updates on on steam that they tend to get updated pretty quick whereas the pro mods um, tend to be a little bit slower perhaps in some in some cases and I'm not saying every case uh, but also you you have to manually um, update them yourself and everything like that and it's just steam just does it all for you so that's it's just basically an easier option that's all so uh, we're here on the mod page and now this is my load order I'm just going to go down the load order uh, as it is so that you, you you can sort of follow that if you want to copy what I've got and you can see exactly what load order I've got so we'll do it in load order so first of all sound fixes this basically I'm not going to go into the uh, into the page for, for each and every one because it, it doesn't really uh, warrant it but uh, it just basically fixes a lot of sounds in the game just makes them just that little bit better perhaps than in the vanilla version so uh, so that's uh, that, that's pretty much an, an essential one it's, it's a nice all-round kind of kind of sound fix for uh, the game and the next one is realistic uh, truck effect sound so, so this is dealing with um, more specifically the sounds of the truck so uh, as you can see it says uh, 
realistic effect sounds for all trucks everything recorded by myself in real life so they are actually real life recordings of the sounds of trucks so and then it lists a few features down there um, let's say for example realistic lift axle sounds recorded on a three axle tipper trailer so uh, they might not be necessarily related to the truck you're driving but they're a little bit more realistic perhaps than the uh, vanilla ones again so that's that one now the next one is, is this weather mod here uh, I have used in the past uh, a couple of mods actually one was uh, realistic rain uh, which I'm trying to I did actually just see it a bit back but uh, it's disappeared again so realistic rain there we go so I did use that one and another one I used was one called cold rain as well and now both of them mods are great there's nothing wrong with any of those to be fair uh, pick and choose which ones I wouldn't run any uh, rain mods or environment weather mods whatever you want to call them i wouldn't run two at the same time uh, you may come into some issues with that so pick one at a time make sure you disable one and uh, before you enable another one and stick it basically in the same similar kind of spot this is where i tend to have it uh, near the top and and try them so this, this is pretty subjective uh, they all give a slightly different look probably look at YouTube and see what other people uh, have uh, like done a, like a comparison video or something and see uh, see what the differences are but uh, but I personally have decided I, I just prefer this this weather mod if I can find it again uh, I just think for me personally uh, it, it's my favorite you know uh, but like I said it's going to be different for different people now I'm just looking there actually oh no it says 4k there but then it says new new weather skybox 8k i don't know why it says 8k there because it says 4k there but uh, but anyway it's the 4k version i downloaded but i really love this mod the lighting in it i think is so realistic it is really really good so it's, it's a really good mod i think uh, for me personally the next thing is uh, asphalt improved so this basically just gives you uh, more detail on the asphalt uh, it doesn't really it doesn't give you any pictures there anything but uh, perhaps if I went onto the steam uh, workshop it might be better but uh, it sh shows you a number of pictures where uh, it just adds extra textures and um, things like that it, it just it, it just makes it look that little bit better uh, again I think uh, it's a lot of this is subjective but um, but I'm just giving you uh, what what I particular uh, particularly have uh, tree improved so uh, this basically just improves the textures of the trees and bushes uh, and not compatible with fail environment which is another one uh, so any any loading order should work so I mean I've just got it uh, here so there we uh, there we have that so that just improves the textures of some trees and bushes thought i'd stick that one in and i've put that one in above grass and just to explain how this load order works by the way uh, if you don't really understand mods you are trying to get an order where and my mouse has suddenly decided to stop working which is really annoying it's the problem with bluetooth mice uh, you seem to have this intermittent problem of it disconnecting sometimes. Oh, I know why it is. I'll tell you why this is. It's a, it's a really odd thing I have. I have a controller connected. And when my controller disconnects, uh, because I have it set on like a 15-minute battery-saving disconnect in my Xbox controller, uh, the Bluetooth for the mouse disconnects for some strange reason. I can't fathom it out at all. If anybody knows an answer to that, please drop a comment. But uh, Oh, by the way, please uh, give the video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it so far. And please subscribe to the channel. May as well get that one in. And share, share, share. And click that notification bell as well. It'd be really, really appreciated. So, uh, so yeah, it, it's a really weird one. But my, my Xbox controller disconnects uh, to save the battery. And all of a sudden, my mouse disconnects for about 30 seconds. It's a really odd one. So anyway, back to here. Yeah, so load, load orders. Generally speaking, anything above is going to write over anything below. 
that's what my understanding is. I'm not an expert in mods, if I'm honest. Uh, somebody may know something different to me, but that's how I understand it. So basically, if you have an... Uh, uh, what, what can I say? Let's say you have uh, a weather mod, uh, but you didn't particularly like the look of how wet the roads looked say for example or something like that then you would put the road mod above that so the weather mod would put the weather on the game and then the the wetness look if you like would then be put on over that if you did it the other way around if you put the the wetness of the road mod down here then that mod the weather mod would overwrite it so then you wouldn't see that particular aspect of, of what you're trying to achieve so always make sure you, it's it's kind of logical in a way when you think about it so uh, try and do it in a in a kind of way like that so it's like here i've put realistic vehicle colors and then i've put street lamps above that because I don't want those realistic colours to be coming through over the street lamps because then they're going to potentially, I'm not saying it would work like that, but potentially it would look a little bit different. So I've got all my lights down here and then I've put the street lights there just to um, just to improve that. I mean, I suppose technically you could argue that that really should go further up here, but it seems to work okay to me. But uh, but that's that's the general logic. Uh, you you don't want important uh, mods that deal with um, say individual types of uh, improvements over more general ones. Uh, so, sorry, um, under more general ones because because they'll just get overwritten by them, uh, and then you won't get the benefit. So. That's, in a nutshell, how they were, and that's how I understand it. If I've got that totally wrong, please leave a comment and uh, educate me at the same time. So anyway, uh, so that's uh, trees improved, grass uh, I've got there. That's uh, that's just a, basically a, a mod for improving the look of the grass. Gives you different types of grasses and things. Uh, down to the street lamps one. Now there's two of these. I've gone with the one without fog. So, so what this one basically does is it gives you a picture, or say a picture, a scene like that, where you, you get the street lamp, but you you just get the street lamp and a tiny glow around it, and that's all you get. Now, in fact, you can see them both on screen here. If you go for that one, then you've actually got a kind of uh, it's, it's say with fog so it's adding a kind of fog effect to it i i don't know again it's a subjective thing I'm, I'm trying this one i may well try the one with fog at some point i don't know but uh, this is where i've put it in the load order anyway uh, realistic vehicle colors uh, again it's pretty self-explanatory that just basically makes some of the colours in the game look a, a little bit more realistic that i think they're also uh, let's just have a look at the description i think uh, oh, it, it, sorry, it increases the variety of colours, right? Okay, so uh, I got that a little bit wrong. Yeah, so it's increasing the actual variety of the vehicle colours, um, just to give you uh, the game a little bit more choice to choose from to make make it like as it like it says, make it look a little bit more realistic. Different lenses of traffic light. So I'm trying this one. This is one of the new ones I'm trying. So it basically just gives you different types of, of traffic lights in a sense, rather than them just being the same old generic ones. So that's what that one does. Realistic building lights just basically improves the lighting effects in the buildings. Now I know that is one aspect that's going to come out in uh, version 1.5 apparently, or, or a little bit beyond that. Uh, they're, they're looking at a, a kind of 3D effect as you drive past. Uh, office buildings say for example i think at the moment that, that it's just a texture layer that's that's put on the building and it, it's kind of 2d whereas what this new uh new new way of coding is that, that they've developed is uh, it's not actually from, from what i gather it's not a 3d coding it's some special kind of coding or something that gives the effect of 3d and as you drive past uh, things in the window kind of move in the room behind the window to make it look like 3D, which so it, it looks quite effective actually. So 
so that's what uh, what that does but realistic building lights at the moment it works fine and it, it just makes the windows look that little bit more realistic realistic flares this just adds kind of flares to he uh, vehicle headlights just makes it look that a little bit better and then I've got the xenon add-on for realistic headlights so uh, that's basically um, taking away the the old yellow type of headlights now you know again it's subjective you might you might prefer the older style yellow headlight uh, but uh, I decided to go with this one I quite like it it just makes things that little bit brighter realistic headlights so uh, to be honest I can't really remember why, why have I got this one what's this one do let's have a look so uh, this mod completely remakes the players and AI headlights of the game making them more beautiful and realistic so again that does a similar kind of thing um, but it, it, again if you notice I've put that one there because that's a more general headlight one uh, I've then added in my xenon and then put realistic flares on top of that um, if that kind of makes sense that's the way I'm looking at it anyway real traffic density uh, again pretty self-explanatory it, uh, it's, it's one I've had for a long long time this one it um, basically just makes the the traffic density a little bit a little bit more realistic and uh, changes the density as well depending on the time of day the old rush hour and everything ai traffic cars from ats so, so this is uh, this is a mod which adds certain american cars i suppose uh, from american truck simulator into euro truck i just thought it'd be uh, nice just to have one or two different types of cars knocking about on the roads also bmw traffic pack as well so uh, let's just go into that one see what it says on that so uh well, it doesn't really say anything does it but uh, but that just adds some some bmw vehicles into the game uh we've got english google maps so uh now obviously if you're not from the uk you uh, may not want this but uh, i am from the uk which is the reason why i have it so it gives me an english uh lady's voice i think you can choose between it was one or two different voices but uh, but yeah um i obviously being from the uk just wanted that so uh, so that's what that one is and then we've got paintable dirty truck pack now i've not tried this one yet if i'm honest uh, it's as it says it's a truck pack to add some dirty skins to your trucks so it's not really tested with tuning dlcs but it should work so uh, we will have to give that one a little try like i said i've not really um put a skin on any of my trucks as yet so we'll have to see how that one goes this one uh, works uh, great i absolutely love this mod absolutely fantastic mod. It, it really gives you a sense of being in a proper truck with the uh, the seat going up and down you can adjust the amount that it moves it's basically if anybody doesn't know what the hell it is uh, it's just basically like a kind of uh, like, like like a suspension seat it's a bit it's a bit like uh, your wheels on your truck you know that they have suspension and this seat has a kind of suspension to it as well uh, to eliminate the harsh bumps and what have you so uh, and so what it has the effect of doing is your 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 uh, your truck windscreen and everything like that in front of you is, is moving up and down a little bit now if you suffer a little bit from motion sickness you might not want it uh, but i personally think it's an absolutely fantastic mod i absolutely love it animated steering wheel i uh, th th this is another new mod i did try this last night and uh, yeah it, it worked great uh, for me up to now so uh, it's a, just a nice little addition so when you start your engine the steering wheel starts in an up upright position well say upright in an upper position again there's not many photos to show you really uh, but it starts kind of up here and then when you start your engine it, it kind of lowers down into the normal position which is quite cool uh, we'll see that uh, in in action in a short while uh, realistic mirror uh, what this does uh, well it's fov so um it just sort of field of view that stands for and it just basically uh, makes the um the shape of the mirror uh, a, a little bit more realistic so mirrors generally are convex and uh, that has the uh, implication of um, 
I've given you a wider view, a wider field of view. So I think this just makes it a little bit more real, realistic than what the vanilla game offers. Realistic truck physics mod. This is another old one I've had for for the last year or more since I've been playing this game, and that uh, that just basically makes the trucks physics, uh, the way they move on the road and everything like that, just that little bit more realistic. Sissel's trailer pack, so th this is a, an extra trailer pack, you can get extra trailers uh, in this game, so um, what's it say here? Uh, doesn't really explain anything again, does it? Uh, well, it says it contains European logistics company trailers based on their original design. There you go, so that's the description for that one. So, uh, immersive symbols extreme. Now, what this does is, you know, the uh, when you go and pick something up or drop something off, you have like this floating green box and uh, and outlined areas in flashing white where you're supposed to go and drop your trail off and everything like that. And it, you know, for, for such a brilliant game for realism, it kind of just knocks the whole realism aspect. Uh, out of the water doesn't it so what this one does is it actually gets rid of all those and replaces them with more subtle means so where you get your uh, bouncing or uh, bouncing green box when you uh, when you go through a gate say for example to drop something off and you uh, you have to tell them that you're there and which method of parking you want uh, that becomes like a raised manhole cover uh, now obviously it's more difficult to see uh, but you know it's the same in real life. You know you don't you don't you don't go around delivering to places and they have these big uh, big green boxes floating up down in in front of you. So um, so yeah, it just makes it more realistic. But if you find it a problem to see them, then obviously uh, disable it again. But it's worth giving it a try. Also the uh, the flashing white outlined boxes where you are supposed to go to park your trailer. Uh, they are replaced by a couple of cones, so you just get a couple of cones, and I think, from what I remember, I think, um, I've not had a lot of experience with this one, again, it's another newish one, but uh, I think they turn green, does it say that somewhere, so, replaces some default game models, replace the icons of the garage companies with a large box with an invisible material, after all, we know where the icons are, by the GPS, so replaces the symbol for loading and unloading for, by traffic cones, these Sorry, the cones on the back have a very bright tape that turn green when the trailer position is correct. So that's a bit like the box turning green when you've got into the correct position. Uh, replaces road termination barriers with invisible models. Now, th this is the one slight downside to this mod. Uh, I was having a quick go with it last night and um, I... <laughs> All of a sudden, my truck just stopped. I was just driving. I was just testing the load out a little bit. and um, Or the load order, I should say. I'm playing uh, Call of Duty. But, uh, but yeah, I, my truck just suddenly stopped. As if I'd hit something. I thought, oh, I've, bloody hell, I've, I've, I've hit a barrier or something. Or and it, There's absolutely nothing there whatsoever. And I was, I'm thinking at first, is it a glitch or something? Is one of these mods playing up or something like that? And then it suddenly dawned on me what it was. It's because I couldn't drive down that road. And there weren't any of the normal crosses that you get across the areas where you can't go. So while it makes it look more realistic... Uh, the downside is, is uh, if you're not following the map, you will come across these areas where you just plow into an invisible wall. So uh, just bear that in mind if you do use this mob. But I'll persevere with it. I mean, obviously, if you're following the sat nav, you're not going to go there anyway, uh, generally speaking. But, um, but yeah, just bear that in mind that you will come up against invisible walls. Uh, real gas stations, this just uh, basically makes the gas stations more real that gives them proper names proper companies and everything real european companies again similar kind of thing so uh, i have that one there and then we have gmc logistics sissel's mega pack customization so again that's uh well let's go into it we'll uh, see what it's all about so replaces over 150 original scs companies inside the base game uh, mod is made from the ground up and thus is only direct delivery compatible. Blah de, blah de, blah. Replaces texture file sense is always error free. So it's, all, all it's doing is replacing textures. That's all it's doing. And it gives you all these 
kinds of companies up here so uh, so that's a good one to have and then you also get mega pack as well which uh, this one offers you uh, there's no pictures to show you here but it, it offers you various different things like um, you know uh, things to hang from your mirror and uh, things to chuck on your seat or your floor or whatever and uh, it just offers you some different items to choose from real fuel prices again pretty self-explanatory it just offers real fuel uh, prices at the time uh, of the game just about uh, UK improved signage another new one this one not actually tried this one and I'm not in the UK at the moment either so uh, I can't try it either at the moment but um, but yeah this is just basically uh, in the vanilla game uh, this sign which uh, if you're not from the UK you may not know what it means uh, but it basically means national speed limit um, so if you saw that on a UK motorway that would be 70 if you saw it on a single carriageway road like a country road it would be 60 miles per hour now people in the UK automatically know this uh, and the origin of, of this sign the reason it's shaped like it is is because it was basically uh, back in the day decades ago before speed limits were a big thing you had a 30 limit in the towns and villages and when you came out of the towns and villages you could basically drive at whatever speed you wanted and what they did was they, they, they had a 30 sign and they just put a, a cross across it a bit like um, a, a, a kind of sail notice in a shop you know what i mean it's not that price anymore it's a cheaper price so it's not that speed limit anymore that's basically where it comes from but i'm, I'm waffling on anyway so this basically uh, replaces in the game you, you just get a 60 or you'll get a 70 which is not that realistic for the uk so this is what they call the national speed limit sign and um that's what that means so so i just thought i would get that but like i said i've not tested it yet new service what this one does it basically adds uh, extra buildings and extra features to your services so it replaces one of the service and repair stations it's fully rebuilt adds some stuff like workers parking trucks and an animated truck washing machine so uh, yet to try that i don't know what it's like i've not been in a service station yet but we will have to see on that one and then minimal advisor interface what this does is uh, nice little i've had it, had it for ages it just puts a a bar at the top of your screen well so if, if, if we're talking about the whole screen it puts a bar up the top here you'll see it in a moment and it just gives you your information on your mileage and your fuel and your sleep and everything like that so uh, so that's what uh, my load order is like so there we go let's come out of that so here we are in my settings and I'm not going to go through all the graphical settings and everything that's uh, really down to your individual device so um, what, I, what I will just say on the graphical settings is I, I tend to have everything set to high and uh, I run it at 1440p um, to, just to stop my laptop from working too hard it is a uh, my laptop's a 4070 it's got 16 gig of RAM and it's a, a Ryzen 9 uh, CPU so that gives you an idea of the spec uh, but like I say it, I mean, it, it will run it at 4k uh, but, but when you're recording particularly things like that and because I have the high settings I'd just rather not tax the PC that much and uh, 1440 is absolutely fine for me so uh, but that's my uh, graphical settings but gameplay -wise, I just thought I'd go through these just um, a little bit I mean a lot of these are basically on default I have disabled fatigue because uh, I don't know I, I know it's realistic to have to go and have a rest and stuff like that but it just pisses me off man it really does uh, I just get fed up of uh, not being able to get to a station uh, to have a rest or a hotel or whatever and uh, then you end up falling asleep and then you end up crashing your truck and it just it just pisses me off as I said so uh, I tend to have this uh, disabled um got everything else uh, there as normal i think keep root advisor hidden uh map is north locked uh, show navigation always uh parking difficulty always select so if anybody that doesn't know the game when you go to park your trailer when you've delivered your goods or when you're delivering your goods and you get to the destination it will ask you which method of parking you want you want it to be difficult you want it to be easy 
uh, and I like it to just always ask depending on uh, my times so sometimes if I'm wanting to get off quick uh, because my tea is ready or something I will click um, I will select uh, easy parking basically where it parks it yourself uh, sorry it parks it itself and you don't have to do anything so uh, I always, always have it on always select so that I've got the option random road events I've, I may have just tuned that down a little bit um, don't I, I think I've got it about right I mean you know you don't see that many events when you're out and about generally speaking so I've got it down at 14 uh, percent detours I've got at 33 percent I can't remember whether I adjusted that or not to be honest rain probability I, I know I reduced that down I've got that set to 18 uh, because it, to me it just seemed to be raining a bit too often especially when you, you're in a, a sort of a warmish country like you know like southern europe or something like that and it was just to me it was just raining too much so i thought no, I'll, I'll cut it down a little bit um so going further down uh, i use simple automatic uh, i haven't got a steering wheel i'm on a controller so i just use um simple automatic and by the way if you want a controller setup on steam uh, i have created one and i've uploaded it uh, i quite like it the default works pretty well to be honest but uh, i've just added an extra layer which allows me to uh, turn on and off the engine braking and also to open and close the windows and to access the map as well uh, just a few extra things which i couldn't access from the normal uh, setup and I, I very rarely have to use a keyboard to be honest uh, in fact generally speaking I don't use a keyboard so um, so everything is there on the controller so if, if you want to go and check that out and download it give it a try let me know how it uh, how it performs for you in the comments uh, steering animation range um, I mean, probably a lot of these I've left on, left on default brake intensity I've probably reduced a little bit truck stability uh, I've got up at the top to be honest uh, and same with trailer um, suspension stiffness I just reduced a bit cabin suspension stiffness I reduced a bit uh, uneven service simulation I think I reduced that a little bit so I haven't got advanced trailer coupling on uh, rain sensor I've got on automatic retarder off uh, the rest is is on by default I think uh, apart from air brake simulation, I, don't, I can't remember what that is, but I, I don't have the air brake simulation on. I try and keep things relatively simple, especially being on a controller anyway. So, um, I'm just trying to think of anything else, what I may have changed. Automatic headlights I've got switched on, I quite like them. Automatic high beams, automatic blinker turn off, I think that's default anyway so that's that camera settings uh, I do quite like this feature this steering camera rotation something I've just been recently trying and that actually uh, turns your head as you turn the steering wheel which works quite nice I've got it set to 124 percent and uh, what else would we have changed there I don't think there's much else we've changed there so yeah I think that is about it so let's go and have a look at the actual game see how it looks with all these mods so here we are in the actual game and as you can see it is absolutely pitch black where I am um, I'm in some kind of oh, I think I've just left it at the side of the road haven't I uh, oh, I remember where I was yes because I actually just left it where I hit that brick wall uh, that invisible wall just down here so I, I shan't go that way I'll turn to the right so let's get back inside the cab so what I'm going to do is uh, this is my extra layer on my controller which I uh, mentioned in the steam controller settings so uh, I'm pressing down holding down on the d-pad and pressing a button and the engine starts and you notice the steering wheel there so if you miss that I'll just turn the engine off again and the steering wheel rises back up and turn it back on again and it comes back down. I quite like that feature. I think that's brilliant. And then again on the extra layer, so I'm, again I'm holding down my D-pad and I am using the left trigger to open the left window and RB button to close it and the same applies on the other side. Use my right trigger and use 
my right button to close it so there you go and then if I press my X button I can turn on the retarder on and off if I require that uh, that feature but um, but anyway let's uh, let's get on and let's just see uh, how things go so just hold it there get out of here and you'll see there that that wasn't me pull, pulling the camera back with my thumbstick that was uh, that was that um, head turn feature which is in the settings you'll notice my lights flashing on and off a little bit so that's the automatic headlights and they obviously are on full beam when there's no traffic and they are high beam uh, sorry full beam when there's no traffic and they are low beam uh, when traffic is approaching now just looking here I was just wondering whether we could see where the icon is for the barrier but I can't actually see it so let's just hold it here in fact I'm just wondering whether I've come to the right place here if I'm honest I don't think I've come to the right place here, have I? I think let's just reverse it back. I think we need to be a little bit uh, over to the left there. Let's just see if this works. Yes, there we go. It says lorries there, didn't it? Let's get back inside the truck. I'm just doing this rather quickly to show you guys. There we go. So, you see the raised manhole cover up ahead that has replaced the green icon that we used to have and it just looks a little bit more realistic so we get parked over there come to a stop you still get the same comes up look so I press A check in with documents and away we go and that's that now unfortunately I can't show you the daytime uh, because it's night, but um, well, you know, give the load order uh, a go and see what you think to it, and let me know in the comments, guys, what you reckon if you've given it a try. And thanks very much for watching the video, and uh, remember to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and we will catch you on the next one. So take care, bye for now.